Hey guys, it's Mark from Ace Tutors, and I'm here to teach you about concavity. Now if you haven't already seen our video on derivatives, click this link to quickly watch because you'll need some of that information for this video. Okay, so what the heck is concavity? Basically, concavity is a measure of how much a curve bends at a particular point. For example, take a look at these two graphs because the one on the left seems to bend a lot more than the one on the right, it will have a much higher concavity than the curve on the right. All right, that's the magnitude of concavity, but what about its sign? Now, let's look at these two graphs. Can you guess which one has positive versus negative concavity? Well, let's take a look at this guy over here. Seems pretty happy, pretty positive, right? Well that graph has positive concavity or is concave up where this guy over here is awfully sad he's being pretty negative so that graph has negative concavity or is concave down so we covered the positive and negative case but what about a graph with zero concavity what does that look like well zero concavity implies there is no bend in the graph so one example could be a line like this. And just because I like making these, let's give this guy a face too. He's not too happy, but at least he's not too sad either. All right, so we went over what concavity is, but how do we find it? Well, just as a function's first derivative corresponds to its slope, a function's second derivative corresponds to its concavity. To see what I mean, let's look at an example. Say we are asked to find the concavity of f of x at x equals negative 1 and x equals 2, where f of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. Just for reference, this is what the curve looks like. Essentially, we are being asked to find the concavity at each of these two points. And using what we just learned, we can pretty easily figure out what we expect to find. Because the graph is concave down, like the frowny face, in, at the first point, we expect the concavity to be negative at this point. And since the graph is concave up at the second point, we expect the concavity to be positive at this point. To see if we're right and to answer the question, let's actually do the math. As I mentioned before, in order to find the concavity, we need to find the function's second derivative. Okay, so let's start with the first derivative. Using the power rule, we find that the first derivative is 3x squared minus 4x minus 11. Now to find the second derivative, all we have to do is take the derivative of this first derivative. As a result, we get that the second derivative is 6x minus 4. Now we have an equation that we can use to find the concavity of the curve at any point. To find it at x equals negative 1, we plug in negative 1 to our second derivative. And doing the math, we find that our concavity is negative 10 at this point, which is negative, just as expected. Next, to find the concavity at x equals 2, we plug in 2 to get that the curve has a concavity of 8 at this point, which is positive, again, as we expected. If you take one thing from this video, remember that the first derivative of a function corresponds to its slope, and the second derivative of a function corresponds to its concavity. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.